everyone bit of a different video today um, I was a bit late with uh, this video obviously a day late uh, so I would apologize to those people that were waiting this video is going to be a bit shaky because I'm uh, obviously holding the camera today what you can see in the pond is pretty obvious to just about everybody there's action reaction pairs in the pond so as the rain is falling and dripping in, in the pond, we, we see waves. So for every drop that drops in the pond, we see a, a wave and the wave fronts interact with each other. They interact with each other between each wave. Now, I, I just want to say the reason for this video is because the same is true of magnetic fields when the magnetic vectors okay where where you have a north pole the magnetic north pole gives you a magnetic vector the magnetic vector when the B field cancels you have a standing wave of current current doubles every time you have a standing wave now believe it or not we're um, about four weeks into winter and we've got a storm Certainly the rain situation this year is a lot better than what it has been in Australia for most people. Most people have been in drought for the last three years, especially out this way. It's about eight o'clock on a Tuesday morning. We've got a storm and we've got rain. You can see there's lots of interactions down there. I'm not even sure if you can hear me at the moment, but we've got lots of interactions on the surface of the pond. Okay, there's literally thousands of raindrops all dropping on the top of the pond. There's waves going everywhere, and it's basically really indistinguishable. So hopefully you can hear me. Anyway, I just I just wanted to say that today because uh, action reaction pairs uh, we need to think about asymmetry, asymmetry. Okay, so for every action there's a reaction, but also for re every reaction you can make a system, you can build a system so that the system can also have a counter reaction. Okay, when you have action reaction and counter reaction that's the situation that's the that's what makes it possible to have a system that can have excess energy okay so basically the excess energy is added to the system because of asymmetry okay the effect as described in the last videos is exactly the same as the PCB traces Okay, so for every action there's a reaction, but the same is true for the reaction. Okay, so you have a counter reaction that opposes the reaction. So action, reaction, and counter reaction. Three literally is the magic number. If you have three, then you bring into the scenario a asymmetrical state and therefore in an asymmetrical state you can have a system that has more energy in the system than what you put into it the same is true of the hydroelectric power plant it's asymmetrical okay we don't put the force of the water flowing downhill in 
nature puts that force in for free. That's why they build the hydroelectric power plants. That's why they build wind turbines. That's why they build solar panels. Because nature puts the energy in for free. Nature puts the energy in for free when it comes to coils as well. But you just have to think about it in the right way. If you're using a symmetrical system, a symmetrical system is always below unity. What you put in is what you get out minus losses. So your output minus losses. Alright everybody, best wishes. Take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones. Look after those close to you. Beware the trolls. Take care everybody.